It's a warm, sultry afternoon here as we come up to toss time in this magnificent stadium in Lucknow. What's your combination for today? Uh, we're going to go with the same team. And uh, your combination today, what is the, what's your side? Yeah, we're playing the same team that we played the last game. Have a good one, Roy. Thank you. Well, that's the news from the centre. It's England who won the toss and they've decided to bowl first. First runs off the bat. And the cheer tells you it's a boundary. Ah, that is classic Rohit Sharma. You pitch it up, you go for four, you drag it down, you go for six. Down the pitch, down the ground. Willie doesn't even turn round because that's the second six of the over. Ball gone. Nip back up. Actually, how we've seen England target Shubman in the past. Jimmy Anderson in Test cricket. Does it get over mid-off? No, it doesn't. The stop from Milan keeps Kohli on strike. As Rohit Sharma had done to David Willey, but for a different outcome. Completely missed time. Nowhere near the middle of the bat. A huge, huge wicket. Straight up. Should be taken. And he has done it today. Taking his second wicket. Really sire normally targeted with the short ball. This is just back of a length. Swoops in the air, but it's a uh, behind square, nobody there. And with that shot, Roy Sharma completes 18,000 runs. He decides to go on the attack and brings up half century number 54. What a player Roy Sharma is. Picks it up and picks it up beautifully. Sweeps. And sweeps well, not for the first time today. Oh, glorious shot this. This is magnificent batting from Rohit Sharma. That's up in the air. Here's the opportunity. And uh, Willie has struck the bowling change, has done the trick. Don't think he's got hold of it well enough. Don't think he's got hold of it well enough. It reaches the fielder from Rohit Sharma. It's Adil Rashid. It's so far. Ah! Up goes the finger because it seemed that it struck in line. <laughs> well, there's a noise there. They all go up. The finger has gone up. Shami is walking. Brilliant. That's out. He's found the fielder. This time it's taken. Again, a swing and a miss and a run out with a direct hit. So after 50 overs, India finish on 229 for it. Very interested to see this chase uh, for England. For so many reasons, there's so many little subplots in this one week. Runs for England. They are away. And they're away with a boundary square. Takes a step across and allows him to access straight leg side boundary chopped it on he's looking to cut that away square on the offside moved across the stumps according to Rod Tucker that's in front gives himself for a man gone momentum all in their favour Stokes stay in his crease and swipe across the line no dragged on Shami on absolute fire here. What a spell this is. Five in the last game, and he's on another hat trick. Nipping back on the inside edge onto the pads. Shami on a hat trick. And a good solid block from Moen Ali. What a spell this is. Three batsmen for England. And gone! There is some turn for Kohli Yadav. He has had a fabulous World Cup, and that is a massive breakthrough for India. Shami, the man with the golden arm. Use of the feet and a simple stamping. Ah! Umpire says that's good enough. Just bring Umbra now from round the wicket. Now there is something to cheer about if you're an England fan because that is an outstanding connection. And there goes Mahmoud 
Shami again. He owns this ground today. That's all over. England pulled out for 129. So Lord Sharma will be mighty pleased with this effort.